Storytime with Tom Foolery presents Peter Pitched a Tent Peter dreams of camping with mermaids by the sea. Sometimes one, sometimes two. Last night he dreamed of three. When Grandma came to wake him up, back out the door she went. At some point in the night it seems that Peter pitched a tent. Peter is excitable. He loves the great outdoors. He built a campsite in the night, right on his bedroom floor. He's no good at chopping wood. He's terrible at fishing. The skills that make a camper good, Peter's mostly missing. He has more pimples on his face than he has camping sense. But Peter is a total ace when it comes to pitching tents. He took down the tent that he had pitched and headed off to school. Along the way he had an itch to stop off at the pool. Peter timed it perfectly. Such a stroke of luck. The senior female diving team was practicing their tucks. Peter pitched a tent with ease, much larger than before. This show of swimming expertise could not be ignored. Peter's friends, Matt and Zack, were waiting at the school. Both of them sat back and laughed when he told them about the pool. Peter likes the science teacher. In her class, he's never bored. She was showing off some creature when it hopped down to the floor. She turned her back to pick it up and bent down on one knee. In three seconds flat, his tent was up, a towering teepee. After school, Matt and Peter came to hang with Zack. Zack's front yard was getting lame, so they headed towards the back. Right there, in their swimwear, in front of everyone. Zack's mum and his sister were laying in the sun. Zack announced, it's time to go, but when he turned around, Matt sat down to watch the show as the circus came to town. Peter started twitching. He was turning red. The circuits all were glitching deep inside his head. He sputtered and he wheezed. His eyes were rolling back. When finally he breathed, everyone stepped back. Zack's sister still is not convinced that he is just 13. Peter pitched the biggest tent the world has ever seen. Spank the monkeys on his way to visit Peter Town. He's gonna need a helping hand to take that big tent down. Peter Pitched a Tent Written by Bimisi Tayanita Illustrated by some guy in Bangladesh Published by Reach Around Books Narrated by Tom Foolery Special thanks to Barbara Parrott, a.k.a. The Laughing Lady, for sending us these lovely hardback books. We hope you enjoyed them. Plenty more coming soon. Well, that story was a bit intense, wasn't it? Shut up. Let us know in the comments section if you've ever pitched a tent or anything like that. Do you like camping? I sure do as long as I don't have to actually go camping. Finger the links on screen. More story time coming soon. See you next Tuesday.